Hi there. Can you guys hear me all right? Yes. Yeah, Story. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling now all of a sudden insecure. But um, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I uh, don't attend a lot of these, but have over the years. Um, my wife and I come to Salt Spring a few times and, uh, yes. and gone to La Conner and things like that. But um, I work as a psychiatric nurse here in Kamloops in uh, our provincial healthcare system and our mental health system. Um, but I just wanted to share I, something um, that about a, somebody that I saw that I thought was really touched me uh, about kind of this power of, of feeling, uh, of learning from feeling. Um, uh, a lady that I saw for a friend of a friend who was actually outside of work, but somebody that was really struggling and she was a 63 year old lady who was contemplating retiring and had really struggled her whole life for about 50 years with mental health problems and in and out of psychiatric hospital and on multiple medications and um, had seen multiple counselors and tried hypnotherapy and all kinds of things. And she said, you know, the counseling at best didn't change anything and at worst made me suicidal and I'd wind back up in the hospital and back on all kinds of you know various medications to try to help with that. And I said, well, what is it that you're wanting kind of now? Um, and she said, well, you know, I just wanna feel okay with the time that I have and I'm gonna retire and I just wanna, I just wanna be okay. And I saw her twice. I saw her on a, a Saturday and a Sunday here in my home in, in the back here. And, um, and we sat together and we chatted a little bit and uh, for about an hour and a half and uh, as she left and I asked her to watch something, one of, uh, I think, Sid's talks and she came back the next day and, and we talked again for another hour or so and we were talking about things and she said, you know, I'm just not getting this. I'm, I'm just not understanding. And, and this woman had, got, had a really a long history of trauma and abuse. She'd been living on the streets as a teen in, in the downtown east side of Vancouver. And um, she said, you know, I never finished high school, so I'm not very smart. She said, I, only, I only, only went to grade nine because of the abuse that I was suffering at home and I had to leave. And we were talking and, and I just thought, you know, I, and I don't even, I was just trying to find it. It was just random. I opened up a, a page of Sid's missing link book and I read her a page and I read her, I think a second page. And we sat for a second and we started talking again. And she said, you know, I, I don't think that I'm smart enough to understand this. And then she said, but you know, I feel something. And it was like a, like an old Christmas tree lit on fire, the way this lady lit up. She just lit and she, I could feel this feeling of peace and love. It, I was about four feet from her and it literally felt like it moved through me. I could just feel this wave of love. Sorry, oh, it gets me when I talk about that every time. And, uh, and she said, what happened? What's happened? She said, I, uh, I don't know what's happened. I don't know how to explain it. And I said, and she started to cry and I started to get teary. And she said, how is this possible? After 50 years of suffering. And I said, you've always been like this. This is who you really are. And she said, oh my God, I can't believe that I was doing this to myself all this time and didn't know it. And she said, how do I keep it? <laughs> and I said, whoa. I said, you, you don't want to don't want to start thinking about that or you're going to lose it. I said, you just live in that feeling. And she said, what happened from yesterday to today? And we actually switched seats. So she had the view of the uh, out the windows. And I said, I think it's because we switched seats. You had the better view. <laughs> uh, she said, wow, we should have done that yesterday. And I just thought after that, I thought, what did I just see here? What, what just happened to this lady? And I thought, I didn't even think that 
I was doing a good job. I wasn't maybe explaining it well enough. I wasn't doing something. And this to see her have this feeling that this feeling just came through her. And I just really thought, you know, this feeling, this is in everybody. And this feeling has this power to heal. The soul just comes through and it just heals us. And I thought, you know, I don't probably need to say so much or try to be so precise or think it's got to be the right words or something like that. Because it was like a, like a miracle happening. Yeah. And then when I went back to work, I started seeing it so often. All of these people would come into my office and I would just randomly see people. And people in 45 minutes, an hour, with OCD and anxiety disorders and depression and all kinds of things. And people would just get better in 45 minutes right in front of me. And they'd say, oh my goodness, what a relief. And I go, wow. And I started saying to my wife, when I come home from work for months, I'd say, you, you wouldn't believe what happened at work today. <laughs> and I would tell her a story. And after a while, it got to happen so often, I thought it was like miracles. And then I said to her, you know what, I don't think that these are really miracles. I, I think this is the, the rule, not the exception. This is just how people are. People are just like this. But it was just such an amazing time uh, to see this happening and to really, and you know, just have this feeling of going to work and seeing, well, what, what am I going to get to see today? Wow, this is amazing. No. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because I, when I think about the feeling that this is all about the feeling and that seeing that lady, I really just was so struck by the, the feeling of that beyond having to be, say the right things or so wow. thank you for letting me share that. Oh, thank you. That, thank you. So that was much. fantastic. That's yeah. like the quintessential great principal therapist story. It's the quintessential yeah. story. It's thank you so much. And, and I, I, I'll talk to you another time about it, but I hope you don't mind if we, if we use that recording uh, and post it. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Thank you, Tori. That thank really you. brought it to life. It did. It, and hearing it from us, people know we, we're, we've kind of been around this and it's just part of us. And people ex hear it from us all the time, but from hearing it from you yeah. over there in Kamloops, you know, it, working in, in the the war zone as Sid used to call it where people come up against all that mental dysfunction and coming from you it, it's even more powerful so beautiful and and I know that just warmed my heart so much hearing how yeah. that woman transformed in front of your eyes yeah so thank you for what you're doing as well absolutely and yeah thank you for telling the story the way you did because yeah. you really demonstrated the power that we're dealing with here yeah you know this profound power. It's really a profound power for good. And I'm just, thank you so much. That was great. That was great. 